Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome everyone here at All for Jesus Church. We are now on our Sunday worship service. Hallelujah. We are a full gospel, non-sectarian, non-denominational church. We believe in Trinity that our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are one God. Let us now sing our opening song, Sanctuary. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. <laughs> Jesus, your will be done in our lives as we 
before you. Lord God, thank you, Jesus, for anointing my father as well and hiding him under the shadow of your wings as he preached your word, Lord God. And Lord, thank you, Jesus, for we believe, Lord God, that as we, Lord God, together pray for the prayer requests of our brothers and sisters, Lord God, we believe, Lord Jesus, nothing is impossible for you to do, that you already answer the prayers, requests of the petition of your children, if it is your will. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for sending your warriors of angels as well, Lord God. And thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Verses 1 to 2. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise, praise His Lord. name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your 
will say amen, amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Truly that God is almighty. He is all powerful. Amen. amen. Praise God. May I call now my mom to lead us to our tithes and offering message for today. Praise God. Thank you, Minister Melissa. Let's open our Bible in Malachi 3.10. Let's uh, go first in Malachi 3.9. Why are suffering under curse? Yet you, the whole nation, are still robbing me. Bring the full tent into the storehouse so that there will be food in my house. Test me in this way, says the Lord of hosts. See if not open the bad gates of heaven and pour out the blessing for you without measures. I will rebuke the devourers in you Amen. so that they will not ruin the produce of your land and your vine you. and your field with not fail to produce fruit, says the Lord of hosts. Amen. Amen. The Lord the Lord doesn't want our money because he's already rich and he's already rich and he's, he did us need this. He wants us all to know that we need to and teach us, the Lord us and teach us to be put the God first first. Siya muna mauna. Tinituruan tayo ng Panginoon para tayo ay magbigay muna sa kanya. We always think about oh uh, if we get our our money, oh I need to pay my bills, pay this one, pay this, but you know and the last we just you just uh, see that our money is not there already. But if you always put the first the Lord first and give him the best without any reservation in your heart, the Lord will bless us. Let's bow our head. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the power of thy Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord God, for today, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, we offer uh, our lives unto you and our tithes and offering unto you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless us, Lord God, as you said in your words, they're going to bless and protect us to all the powers, Lord Jesus. Father, right now, release your supernatural increase and provision in our lives, physically, mentally, spiritually in our lives, Lord Jesus. We trust again unto you, Lord God. Next week, our families, our works, our all the things that we're going to do, Lord, bless our hands, Amen. bless our lives, Lord Jesus. Yes. And protect us to any sickness and diseases and to any danger in our lives, Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord, thank you, Lord God, for everything you've done in our lives. Amen. Truly, God, apart from you, we can do nothing. Truly, God, that you will never leave us no, nor Jesus. forsake us. Yes, Lord. Thank you for everything, Lord God, you've done in our lives. Yes, thank you, Lord God. For your guidance, Lord God. Thank you for amen. everything. And we bring back, we bring back the glory and orange is mighty name. Amen, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Here at All for Jesus Church, we believe that your tithes belong to your local church. But if you believe that All for Jesus Church is your home, please go to www.allforjesuschurch.com for more details. Amen. Hallelujah. May I call now my beloved daughter to lead us to our scripture reading for today. Praise God. Luke 5, verses 33 to 39. Then they said to him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise those of the Pharisees? But yours eat and drink. And he said to them, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and, that, and then they will fast in those days. Then he spoke a parable to them. No one puts a piece from a new garment on an old one. Otherwise, the new makes a tear, and also the piece that was taken out of the new does not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. 
or else the new wine will burst the wineskins and be spilled, and the wineskins will be ruined. But the new wine must be put into new wineskins, and both are preserved. Amen. And no one having drunk old wine immediately desires new, for he says the old is better. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Pastor Isaiah T. Seguin, Jr. Thank you, my Princess Melody. Our Princess Melody Pate, our song leader here in All for Jesus Church. Amen. Good morning, everyone. We thank you for your presence again here in All for Jesus Church on our Sunday worship service. Amen. We are also live on Facebook as well as in YouTube. Our text for today, that's what our Princess Melody read, is found in the book of Luke chapter 5 verses 33 to 39. Jesus question about fasting. From fasting to fasting. Paga ayuno at piging. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for this for this wonderful day that you have given unto us. Amen. We thank you for this day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, forgive our sins, Lord, for, for our sins always separate from us. But first, Lord, we are claiming that you have said in your words in First John 1 I, that if we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive our sins and purify us unto all unrighteousness. We thank you for your great mercy, your loving kindness towards us, for you have given us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, as a sacrifice for our sins. Without the shedding of the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, there's no forgiveness of our sins. We thank you, Father, for your great faithfulness, for your divine mercy. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us for the whole week again, Lord. We thank you for the healings Amen. that you have given unto us, Lord. Yes. And we always pray, Lord, that this healing will, will come upon those who need your healings, your divine healings. We thank you, Father, for this day. And we lift up this message to you, Lord. And let this message be a blessing to others, Lord. Hide me behind your back. And let your glory be upon us. And let your name be lifted up in this place. We glorify your name in this place, Lord. We magnify your name in this place. Cover us with your most precious blood, Lord. Yes, Lord. As we declare your holy words and protect us Lord under the shadow of your wings we thank you Father in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Amen. our text for today like I said is in Luke chapter 5 verse 33 this passage contains three short parables Amen. the first in Luke's gospel the parables of Jesus are some of the most difficult passages to understand in the New Testament. Much of this is due to our separation in time, expression, and culture from Jesus. But even the disciples of Jesus who did not face this corresponding most of the time had troubled understanding what Jesus meant by his parables. The confusion is natural. However, since according to what Jesus says in Luke 8 verse 10, <laughs> I want you to stay with me. I want you to read with me. The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God has given to you. But to others, I speak in parables so that through seeing, they may not see. Through hearing, they may not understand. He intended 
these biting and sharp literary stories to be confusing. For now, it is best to recognize that if a parable is initially confusing, therefore, we are on the right track. Amen. This passage begins with a question about fasting, pag-aayuno, withholding or stopping taking food from yourself for a certain appointed time, which serves as a form of warning. In other words, it is a form to express sadness and deep sorrow. It is a time when many Christians examine their spirituality and live and abstain food for a time to fast, lavish, and indulge in God's word to and commune with God in a special way. When Christian fast, the attitude is that I would rather have God, the real life giver, than my daily proportion of physical food. The practice of fasting is started way back in the book of Leviticus chapter 16, verses 29 to 34, and the parables of Luke 5, verses 39 to 33 to 39, are some of the most confusing. For the last 1800 years, these three short parables have been almost universally or commonly preached in a particular way. Almost all resources interpret this passage in a particular way. Amen? The traditional explanation is that Jesus was starting fresh and new based on the grace and truth. His new progression and adaptation was incompatible, conflicting, and contradictory with Jewish religion, especially the legalistic emphasis of the law. So the old clothes and the old wine skins are equalized and matched with Jewish religion, and the new clothes and the new wine skins represent the new grace filled in other words filled with kindness favor and mercy teachings of Jesus the teachings of the Pharisees as are described as worthless useless and old-fashioned and backward looking according to the law of Moses while those of Jesus are full of grace, full of truth, and full of love, according to life in his spirit. The problem of the Pharisees was that they had taken this God appointed and established a special day with its special requirements and thought. Well, if God wants us to fast once a year, how much more would he be pleased if we fasted twice a week? So this, their practice was to fast on Mondays and on Thursdays every week. This was their idea, even not God's idea. This was their way of looking goody goody. You know what I mean? Goody goody. Mukhang napakabait and very religious. Nagmumukha rin silang religyoso. In response to this, Jesus said in Matthew 6, verses 16 to 18, I want you to stay with me. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. Gloomy is some kind of miserable, sad, or dejected for they disfigure their faces.
somewhat they uglify their faces amen and make their faces unattractive eh pangit na kasi lang tignan lalong pinapapangit pa mga mukha that their fasting may be seen by others Jesus said truly I say to you they have received their rewards amen in 17 but when you fast anoint your head and wash your face panatilihin mong magandang lalaki ka pa rin na gaya ko amen normal hindi halata parang walang nangyari amen? in 18 that your fasting may not be seen by others but your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you amen, amen. everyone Notice that when the Pharisees were fasting, Jesus and his disciples were eating and drinking. Jesus was not teaching this, his disciples to go against God's law, but against man's custom and traditions. Jesus takes advantage of this opportunity to teach about something far more meaningful than fasting. He takes this opportunity to teach on the kingdom of God. In verse 33, I want you to read with me. And they said to him, John's disciples, often fast and pray, and do and so do the disciples of the Pharisees. But yours, they go on eating and drinking. Here, one thing had to be said that if you watch Jesus and his disciples and then watch the Pharisees, you notice the difference. The difference is, it's like night and day, amen. Jesus answered the question by speaking of a wedding fest. He said in verse 34, I want you to read with me. Can you make the guest of the bridegroom fast when he is with them? Verse 35, the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and then they will pass in those days. Jesus is identifying himself as the bridegroom and his disciples as the, guest, as the friends. The question is expressive and meaningful as everybody knows that a wedding celebration is a time for fasting, amen? not fasting. One who fasts at wedding fest insult the bride and the groom, amen? Every wedding fasting is in order like the fest they were enjoying at the time of this question was asked, they were probably still at Levi's fest. This fest perhaps was held on a day. Others have set aside to fast. So the absolute and pure difference could be seen. John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees were fasting. While Jesus' disciples we're celebrating the gospel, amen. This should be a picture and description of every believer. We should be celebrating our sins are forgiven, amen. Yeah. Celebrating our freedom yeah. from the law. Celebrating our status as a child of God. Yeah. When we do, others will stand and take notice, amen. Yeah. What Jesus is teaching those who ask this question and really teaching us as well is that the new covenant is better than the old covenant. The first to look forward to sins are forgiven. The second actually forgives sins. Jesus refers himself as the bridegroom which is an important representation and image and the church is the bride. Here, 
he calls his disciples the wedding guest. So the portrayal is a wedding reception, amen, where all the guests are present. And the atmosphere is that of celebrating and fellowship. Everyone is having a good time, that is. <laughs> except, except those who are there. But they were not really invited. <laughs> you do fast at the fest. Yeah. You don't look miserable when you are at a party. Amen. <laughs> you are not grieving over sin. When the bridegroom is present and forgiving sin. Unless... Listen to this. Unless your sins are not really forgiven. Amen. Jesus is the mediator of the new covenant. Hebrews 9 verse 15. In other words, he is the anointed Messiah who ushered in the new covenant and the kingdom of God by his perfect life and death on the cross. His death on the cross paid all the sins of everyone, the man who could eventually be brought into the new covenant. The bottom line with Jesus and his disciples is that they are celebrating because the bridegroom, Jesus himself, is in their needs. Amen. He, he has brought the kingdom of God and the new covenant with him. His presence, his grace, removes all need for sorrow and grief that which fasting symbolizes among his people. He said, when the bridegroom is taken away, in verse 35, letter B, then the bride will be sorrowful and mourn. And there was a time of weeping for the bride when the Lord of glory was crucified and buried. But the resurrection of the Lord, his exaltation and enthronement and the outpouring of the spirit of grace upon us we now rejoice with joy amen uncorrupted and solid the bride's fasting days are over amen it's done our sins are gone amen. grace righteousness and eternal life is ours yes. christ our faithful Savior, our divine bridegroom is with us to provide, to protect, to comfort, to rejoice our hearts. This leads us to Jesus' illustration of what he is talking about. Works and grace. Remember this. Works and grace cannot go together. Amen. As we read. Verses 36 to 39, he also told them a parable of no one tears a piece from a new garment and puts it on an old garment. If he does, he will tear the new and the piece from new will not match the old. 30, 37, no one puts new wine into old wine skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skin, amen, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed in 38. But new wine must be put into fresh white skin. In 39, no one, after drinking the old wine, desires new, for he says, the old is good. The point of the parable is that we should never mix anything with the gospel, amen. Grace and works cannot be together. Grace is the free gift from God to undeserving sinners, while works is earning a wage, amen, sueldo for those who deserve it. There are two totally opposite concepts that are mutually exclusive. If you have one, if you have one, you cannot have the other, amen? To mix one ounce of work, to mix one 
one ounce of work to a million tons of grace totally destroys grace. Amen. You cannot lift a finger to save yourself. And what a foolish and embarrassment if you try. It is Christ alone that saves. It is His works alone that justifies sinners. You cannot mix traditions of the old covenant with the new covenant. It's like sewing a patch of one color of material to a garment of different color. There are simple sayings not meant or compatible to be mixed together. They were the old covenant and the new covenant. Law and grace. Christ and the world. These are some examples of things that should never mix. When we try, the result will be disastrous. Amen. Many Christians today try to mix a little bit of Jesus amen, and Christianity with their lifestyle, with worldliness and sin. You cannot have both. <laughs> we saw how quickly Levi left everything to follow Jesus in Matthew 5 verse 27. He knew the truth that he cannot have both. He could not keep his former lifestyle and be a follower of Jesus at the same time. How many are there who are seem determined to prove our Lord wrong? <laughs> who try to serve both God and money? They wear the name of Jesus in profession but serve the world. They want to enjoy the new wine of Christ but they want to drink it from the old bottles of the world. Amen. They will not faithfully and committedly despise the garment of discipleship. But they want it without cost. So they try to patch it with the old garments of pleasures, covetousness, and love of the world. They will find out one day soon. They have that they have attempted that which cannot be done. Amen. In our conclusion, the focus of the interchange is the arrival of the kingdom of God that Jesus exemplify and represent and is conflicting and inconsistent with the Old Testament system of worship. Three parables and three principles. At first glance, we may perceive that Jesus' answer, which is a parable, and two following parables are not related, but they are pointing to the same truth. Amen. Number one, the parable of the wedding party. Verse 30, verses 34 to 35. Fasting does not go with fasting. They are incompatible. Amen. A wedding is a time of joy and it's not like a funeral where there are great sadness and mourning. The point is that since Jesus has come to usher in the kingdom of God, it is not time for grieving and fasting but for great joy. Jesus were missing out on the joy because they were too focused or they are too concentrated and attentive on religious ritual to see who Jesus was. Number two, the parable of new patch, the new garment. In verse 36, the point is that the new kingdom of God that is revealed in Jesus Christ is incompatible with the Old Testament. When Jesus is not condemning, is not condemning or dismissing the Old Testament. Jesus said that he came to fulfill the law, not to abolish and destroy man. The Old Testament is incompatible with the New Testament and yet they are intimately related. Amen. Christ comes out of the Old Covenant and the Old Testament 
is the foundation of the New Testament. The parable of the new wine and the wine and the old wine schemes. In verses 37 to 39, new wine does not go with the old wine. There were no basso or drinking glass in Jesus' day. And instead, they used goat skins. The wine was poured in and the skin sealed up until time for consumption. Here, there are three parables contain three principles. God wants us to know the joy to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. The kingdom of God is about the king. King Jesus. Jesus came to bring about the kingdom through offering forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Religion brings with emptiness. It has rituals that must be done over and over again. And there is not peace with God. Only a fearful wandering. If you have done three enough religions, Armand's made Armand's search for God. The gospel is God's search for man. There are many religions, but one gospel. Amen. Christ is not one of many ways to approach God. Amen. Nor is he the best of several ways. He is the only way. The truth and the life. Amen. John, John 14 verse 6. Do you know do you know Jesus? Do you know the joy of the Lord? Have you experienced forgiveness through the cross of Jesus? Have you turned away from your sins? And trusted Jesus alone to save? Thank you, Jesus. God wants us to look forward, amen. Not backward. There are things God will not allow to happen, amen. If we cling to the past, to the past, the gold old days are long gone, amen. They're long gone. The Pharisees wanted to go back to Mount Sinai and Moses. Recollection and flashback. Maybe 2020 vision. In other words, it's crystal clear to look back. But we usually exaggerate things. We usually interpret the past as our present need. Don't get stuck in the past. Stop looking back, man. To the good old days and he start looking forward to God's way. God is always in our in a new way. It is because it is not our way. God wants us to grow spiritually. Amen. We need we get to religious rituals. We have a comfort zone <laughs> that goes against God's way. Our old self, our old wine schemes. Our previous experiences, our prejudgment, the familiar, the comfortable, our present level of growth, our cherished, our favorite custom. Sometimes it is hard to get used to new one, man. But once you have gone forward into God's way, the old doesn't work anymore, amen. Let's set aside, let's set aside, let's set aside the old way and go with God's way. The old, let the old life go, let it go and embrace Christ and let the party begin, amen. To God be the glory. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your great message for today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and be with us again, Lord, next week. Amen. And always protect us, Lord, every day in our lives. Amen. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are encouraging you to join us today to pray with us for our brothers and sisters. They have prayer requests. Hallelujah. Our first prayer request is from Sister Genevieve C. here in New York, USA. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, truly, Lord God, that you are always in control. 
No matter what's going on around us, you are still God and you never change. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. We lift up to you, Lord God, the brother of Sister Jenny Dave. His name is Vic Anthony Gales, Lord God, who is in the Philippines. Lord God, we pray that you will stretch out your hands on him, Lord God, and heal him, Lord Jesus. Lord, whatever the ache and the pain in his life, Lord God, uh, that pneumonia, Lord God, Lord, anemia, Lord God, we pray to heal him in Jesus' name. Let every part of his body, Lord God, his, his lungs, his internal organs will function, Lord God. Lord, you created him after your image, and we believe, Lord God, that he is, he is also, Lord God, you love him, Lord God, and he is also your child. And we pray, Lord God, to make a way in his life, whatever their needs, Lord God, hallelujah, to... to to do, Lord God, anything, Lord, in his life, Lord, with the, with the doctors in the hospital, Lord God, supply it in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you, Lord, for we believe you are our great physician, and we believe, Lord Jesus, that you already healed, Lord God, brother Vic Anthony Gales. And Lord God, Lord, we pray for the second prayer request. Her name is from, uh, the prayer request is from Sister Lilia Trinidad Villanueva. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will continue, Lord, to move in the life of his, her husband, Lord God. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless their living, Lord Jesus. Lord, hallelujah, we believe, Lord God, that nothing is impossible for you to do, Lord Jesus. That you're going to bless them, Lord, abundantly and exceedingly in Jesus' name. You're going to pour out, Lord God, your blessing upon them, Lord, not just financially, but as well spiritually, Lord God, where they will grow deeper in love with you, Lord God. Lord, we pray that for the provision and good health and protection over them. And Lord, lastly, Lord Jesus, we pray for uh, Maylin Tan in the Philippines. Lord, we pray that you will bless her business, Lord God, together with her with her co-workers, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will bless their, their insurance, Lord God, that whatever, Lord Jesus, their the requirements, Lord, their quotas, Lord God, they will meet it, Lord God, every week, every month in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you will continue, Lord, to prosper the work of their hands, Lord God. And we pray, Lord Jesus, to open doors upon them, Lord, as well, Lord. And we pray for the healing, Lord Jesus, for... For, for the healing, Lord Jesus, to in their family as well, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we also pray for, hallelujah, a sister, Lord God, who is here in the United States. We pray, Lord God, for your divine healing in her ovary, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that you continue, Lord, to move in her heart and remind her, Lord, that you are always in control, that you are God, that nothing is impossible to those who believe in you. Lord God, we pray that you continue, Lord, to bless her, uh, her body, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, strengthen her, Lord God, physically, mentally, and spiritually, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that every part of her reproductive organ, Lord, Lord, it's going to function well in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you, Lord, for her healing. Thank you, Lord, for, he for, for hearing the prayers of your people, Lord God, the heart cry of your people, Lord God. Truly, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, all your promises are yes and amen. And we claim it, Lord God, and we receive it. Thank you, Lord, for our brothers and sisters who join us today. We give you praise. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>
unto now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you with faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever in Jesus name Amen thank you brothers and sisters God bless